What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent. I have a team here based around Assault Vest Kiram. The set is a really good counter to Volcarona, because with the 48 HP investment we can take a plus 1 Z Fire Blast if we are at full health and Rock Slide will be able to Oko them back. It's also a really good Greninja counter because we can take two Dark Pulses even after hazard damage with the HP investment, but that's only if need be, we do have Assault Vest Tangrowth on the team after all. The rest of the coverage is pretty standard right here. I find that Mega Mawile plus literally any Dragon type is not something you can go wrong with. I've had success with Mega Mawile plus Latios as well as Mega Mawile plus Garchomp. I'm thinking that Mega Mawile plus Kyurem can replicate that same success today. Electrium Z Rotom Wash is something I've been wanting to try for a very long time. Offensive Rotom Wash has kind of risen in the metagame as of recently, and I haven't really touched it yet, so we'll see how it works out. It's not the Defogger, the Defogger is Tornadus right here, which is Rocky Helmet. Tornadus plus Tangrowth, classic regenerator core for offensive teams. And then finally, Leftover is Heatran with a lot of Spideff just to help out with Fairy and Psychics, because Mega Mawile well, doesn't want to take all those hits, right? So that's going to be the team. Let's get started. All right, I have a game right here. I'm curious if that's Mega Tyranitar or whether it's just Smooth Rock and then the team has no Mega. Either way, I think my best lead right here is just my Timid Kyurem, as my opponent does opt to lead off with the Greninja. The only way this is really bad is if my opponent has, like, Low Kick, which I think I'll scout for by going Tangrowth. No point in letting Kyurem take a ton of damage. Yeah, Low Kick does come out, so I'm glad I did do that. And I could just throw off a knockoff now. As they do have Gunk Shot as well, a little bit rough, but I do live, okay. That's actually really nice, because I can get rid of the Focus Sash, okay. That means it's probably a Spikes lead. I'll just go for Giga Drain, expecting Spikes, yeah, I think they would anticipate my switch, so. I'm able to knock out the Gren, and I can still regenerate this guy, so, or girl, so that's pretty nice right here. Still helps me out against stuff like Magnezone. I think they're regretting not taking the killer right there, but, I mean, that Spike could help them out. They do bring out the Tyranitar here. My Rotom is kind of useless because they have a Tangrowth, so I think I'll just bring that out right now. As they do go right for the Crunch. I am faster, so I can just Paint Split right now. I'm expecting the Tangrowth, so... Okay, they actually do stay in. A little bit of a confusing click, but I'll click Gigavolt Havoc now, I think. Which one's stronger? This one? Yeah. This should do a good amount. Like, I didn't want to risk Accuracy with Hydro Pump, and I don't think I need my Rotom. I can still deal with Excadrill using Pokemon like my Tang, so... It's really not the end of the world if that thing goes down. Here, what I can do is just bring in my... Why do I feel like Kyurem doesn't even kill this? I have to try it, though. Like, I don't think anything else will kill. Let's go right for Earth Power. I'm assuming they switch out. Yeah, they go Tapu Lele. The terrain goes up. They should double to Drill here, but I'm going to go to Heatran anyway. As they just go for Focus Blast. Unfortunately, they miss. They did cover both plays, but I think Spidef Terrain eats one of those. A little, little bit unfortunate for them, I must not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so they were like, choice, their choice scarf on that. Meaning I can get in my Tornadus here. Yeah, that has to be choice scarf, there's no other way. Yeah, they're, they're choice scarf, okay, good. Good to know. I still have Sucker Punch for Excadrill. I think what I want to do right here is just go for U-turn as the zone comes in. Because the type of Layla is choice scarf, I highly doubt this is, so I'll get in Kiram and just Earth Power. They probably sack Tyranitar now. No, they sack his own. A little bit of a confusing click in my opinion. But I do have to watch out for Tapu Lele. I'm not going to go hard Heatran because if that dies, I'm actually really weak to late game Lele on its own. I think that Mawal needs to clutch me this game. What I want to do right here is I think perhaps stay in. Could I take a Moonblast with my investment? Kiram custom set against Lele. I see the end game they're going for. They're clearly trying to win with Excadrill, but I think if I keep Tangrowth at that amount of health, plus some Sucker Punch and Mawile, I should be fine. I actually live, so like I could just stay in here and Ice Beam this. Yeah, I think that's probably the play. As they go for Psychic, but like that's not going to help them. And I am able to knock them out with the with Kiram, which is really cool. Tyranitar does come in next, but like I can just Earth Power here. And yeah, once the sand is gone, they definitely lose. So all I gotta do is keep my Kiram around because it's timid for that drill. And then I think I should be okay. So I believe my my biggest, my least expendable Pokemon, or most expendable, sorry, is Tangrowth. And then once these four turns are out, I can just win the game normally. So I can just go to the Tornadus here. Then go to Tran. Yeah, like, I'm j I just gotta keep Mawal plus Kiram. That's the main thing. And yeah, now I can go back to Tornadus. Or actually, do I even have a reason to? I just Earth Power. As they do Rock Slide, does a bit of damage there, but I can go Tornadus now. Just go right for the U-turn. 
It doesn't really matter what they do, like Hiram's gonna win me this game because they're not Smooth Rock on Tarion Atar, so I should be fine. I'm pretty sure this is four attacks too, because it's probably Rapid Spin Earthquake. I don't think this is Swords Dance, so I'm able to knock out the drill, and then there's no way Tangrowth beats my team. I'll be right back. Alright, so after that last game, I found another game, and the dude timed out at Team Preview, which put me in top 50. I generally don't like recording this high on the ladder, just because there's so many tryhards, but I guess we'll make it work. This guy's actually really weak to my Assault Vest Kyurem. Like, all these Pokemon are hit super effectively, and I don't think Greninja does a lot to me. What I want to do right here is lead off with Tornadus. I get Serp, so that's actually okay. They could be Scarf Glare. How much do I really mind that? It would be kind of annoying. Maybe I just scout with Tangrowth for Scarf Glare. They're probably Scarf, but I don't understand risking it. Like, why? I can just go for knockoff now. Ideally, if they go Tran, I'm able to knock off the lefties because that would be so good for Mawal. And I think the Z is going to be on Gren, maybe. Although Z could be on Tran. But I think you would pivot to Zapdos here, if anything, right? I'm going to go for knockoff. I don't think you go Tran. You either stay in and go for hacks with this. But this is definitely a choice scarf, so I'm just going to go for knockoff. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't let the Tornadus get paralyzed, but like, if I stay in there and break through para and hit Hurricane, this thing's dead. The problem is if I don't, I get nothing out of that turn, and I'm in such a bad spot. I would love to find out this thing's item. Let's see, it was choice spec, so it's just definitely just Battle Bond. I'll go for Earthquake here. As they click Spikes, okay. Click knock off this turn, anticipating the Zapdos. As they just stay in. Click Giga Drain this turn, as they just give me the Gran. Okay, so I guess they didn't value that at all. Balloon Tran comes in, that's interesting. Balloon Tran, I don't actually know what Balloon Tran wants to do here. <laughs> what? Could go for Magma Storm, I actually like my Rotom, but like... I actually don't like Paralyzed Tango very much, I'm just gonna knock off. So they go right for Flamethrower. Yeah, popping that balloon's actually so good for AV Kyurem. AV Kyurem's gonna destroy this guy. Especially once I get my hazards up. I will keep this and just go Rotom here because I can Volt Switch out. I doubt you would stay in. They do f get a 10% burn. A little bit annoying. They have double grass, but like, I honestly think they might stay in. So I'm just gonna go for an offensive Hydro Pump. I'm really not trying to Volt Switch on this guy. Because, like, if, yeah, I, I'm not trying to do that. Because even if a Grass-type comes in, I get in Torn and just get my Defog, like... So here's the thing, I'm gonna go Tangrowth, because if they Stone Edge into Torn, I don't get my Defog off, and that's really not worth it for me. They do go for Continental Crush, I did anticipate something like that to come out. Now Mawal is just, like, the freest click ever, and honestly, I have no reason not to play off. Even if they go out into the Resist, it doesn't really matter. They do Paralyze me right away, meaning now I have to play around with this, if I want to break through it. I'll rather go to Heatran here. That's actually really annoying because Mawal is really good in this end game. Yeah, it kinda sucks, but I'll go for Magma Storm here, as I do actually get a crit back on them, so that's really nice. I'll earth power now in case they try to roost. As they're just discharging, okay. I'll go for rocks here, like it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, they do roost at that turn, but like still, I can just Magma Storm again. As they discharge and I knock them out. Beautiful. How do they even beat this? Like, who, who, who is coming in here, dude? I guess you go to... The, the Serp is Scarf, so, like, you can't do that. This is going to go for Superpower. I'm gonna go to Tornadus, anticipating that. And what I want to do right here is just throw out a Hurricane. Although, Hurricane could be a choke, because if they Swords Dance up with Mawile, I probably lose the game, so... What I would rather do right here is just go right for U-Turn, and bring out the Rotom that's pretty useless at this point, and just drop the Gigavolt Havoc. Because they're gonna Horn Leech like no health back. And all I really want to do right here is get in Kyurem safely, so... I can do that now, just throw off Ice Beam. If you switch out into Mawal, I'm pretty sure it'll die to Ice Beam plus Earth Power, so they just give it to me there. As, like, who comes in now, right? You have to go Mawal, obviously. I'm trying to figure out, do I have to hit... I don't know why this came in. Okay, you're really going for that. <laughs> okay, so I guaranteed win if I hit Magma Storm. Alert Power here. Unless, like, would Swords Dance- am I slower? Uh, actually, if there's Swords Dance, I think I actually just lost. Okay, I did get a spit-off drop. Is there any way- I have Rocky Helmet. Yeah, I win the game. So, uh, yeah, that did way too much. So I'm able to go ahead and knock out the Mawile Rocky Helmet. I really didn't expect 90%. Like, what's their HP investment on that? Mawile? I feel like that's way too little HP. Uh, they have, like, no investment on that, I think. Yeah, some, because, like, if they were 92 or 88, whatever the standard is, they definitely wouldn't have... Well, I guess uh, max roll is 90, so... I mean, even if I get the 76 roll, I think with hazards plus helmet, I still knock them out, but that should be 1900s. I'll be right back. 
Alright, I have another game right now. This guy is actually very weak to Mega Mawile, but Landorus could be defensive. Kyurem also has fun, but Clefable is a little bit annoying. I think I want to lead off with Erotum here. Just because it's able to catch stuff like Clef and Lando, which I think would be the Rockers. Tyrion Tart is actually okay with me too. I can just Hydro Pump right off the bat as Clef comes in. I'm actually gonna go for the KO. They should know I'm like offensive, yeah, I'd, like this is the pretty obvious set now. I'll go for Volt here, anticipating Soft Boiled and just get in Heatran. Like it doesn't really matter, if they go to Bulu, it's kind of the same thing, I just get in Heatran as well. Although Heatran is good here against like the, the Steels. Well, the Steel and the Psychic type. See, I'll get this guy in as they go right for the... Just Magma Storm. They go hard Tyrion Natar. Ah, I should have just gotten a Brox. I didn't think they would save the Clef. Am I willing to throw this out? I honestly think I am. I'm gonna go for Rox. As Earthquake doesn't even kill me. But that's really bad. At least, like, Clef is gone when my Heatran is, you know, dead, basically. But it still sucks that this is not around. I'll take my damage and then get in... Who do I even go to? I like Mawal, but having it take an EQ would be so bad. Yeah, there's no way I can allow Mawal to take any damage here. I have to go back to Rotom. And I think the best play is just going right for Hydro Pump. If there's Stone Edge Bulu, this is going to be a rough game. I think they're definitely offensive. I'll use Tangrowth as the pivot. As they double to zone. Okay, that's actually fine. I can just click Giga Drain now, anticipating the Volt Switch, and they don't really bring anything in on this very well. I'm assuming they'll suck off their Clef, but... I don't know, we'll see. No, they go right back to Bulu, which I will definitely take a knockoff on. Yeah, so this is the Z. Good to know. Nope, stop that. I'll just click Hurricane now, as I force their withdrawal. Okay, that's really good. And here what I can do is just go for U-turn. So this is probably what choice card for specs. I didn't calculate the damage earlier. How much did it do? Crit to 26. I don't know what that means, but I'll go to Tangrowth. Like, Tangrowth is so good here aside from Bulu. That's the annoying thing. I'll go hard Tornadus this time on the Swords Dance. I'll just click U-turn. Yeah, Zone comes in. I'm done giving them all the momentum. Let's just start breaking their team down. I'll click Earth Power right here in case they're tempted to go for Flash Cannon, but they hard withdraw to Zam. Which honestly doesn't even matter, because, like, Ice Beam is such a free click against this guy. I'm a Salt Vest, too, so, like, unless you're Psy Shock, you're not going to do anything to me. No, dude. <laughs> Give me this. Yeah, goodbye, Zam. So, my Kyurem's effectively dead right here, which is a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. Would have loved to have Kyurem do more work, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go for the win with Mawal. Mawal's going to win me this game. Landorus comes out, likely a Choice Scarf user. I actually think I will save this, but Tangrowth does just win on its own, huh? But defogging for it could actually be really nice. I think I will go Tangrowth. As so they go right for U-turn, that's okay. Like, I, I really don't mind that play. Tapu Bulu comes in. I'll go right for HP Ice. This guy keeps on swords dancing. Synthesis is up. I do hit my Hurricane as they go ahead and go for the Bloom Doom. So that attack finally comes out, meaning my Kyurem is effectively death fodder now. I do have to go Mawal right here. And click Fire Fang. Now, play rough is the play. I can't risk missing against Lando. Yeah, like... It's, can't, it's not worth it. I can go for Sucker Punch here and pick it off. But that's not a scenario I can play around with. Here's an issue. They crit me. I think I just lost off that. <laughs> I actually think Mawal had a chance, but... I think I, I guaranteed lose, maybe. Unless Tangrowth can actually take on Bulu from 42, but I don't think it does. I'll bring in Rotom here in case it's faster. It actually very much should be. So yeah, knockout zone right there. Tepu Bulu comes in. I suck off Kyurem on the synthesis, but I think I lose because I needed Mawal for this Bulu. And I don't beat it now. I mean, the Z is gone. Can that help me at all? I have to spam this, but like, that's actually so annoying. How much are you doing to me? Yeah, they're doing way too much. I, I think that miss. I, I think that crit cost me the game. Unless it does more than I think it does, but I, I don't know. But yeah, I lose the game. I, I don't know if the crit mattered or not, but I'll be right back. Alright, so now we have this player who is running a team that is very weak to Mega Mawal. I'm tempted to lead with it, anticipating Tyranitar lead. Yeah, because I can just throw off a player off immediately right now. 
and I definitely live any sort of earthquake. I'm a little bit worried about having Mega Mawal take an earthquake right away, but I think if I weaken this, then Heatran can just easily win the game on its own, so we'll see what they opt to do. They do go Toxapex, okay. This will take a good amount. I can just follow it up with Thunder Punch. Like, their lander is just the least of my worries. As they just leave that in. They don't get a burn, which is actually really lucky. Because I can just throw off a player off here. Yeah, the risking that burn was really tough, but they get in Skarm. Really offensive play, considering I just showed Thunder Punch. But at this point, I do want to get my Rotom out of here, just because of the fact that... Okay, they go for Roost. Just because... Did I say Rotom? I went Mawile out of there. Because I don't want to take any more damage. It's my biggest threat in this game. Here, what I can do is just Volt Switch out. They probably go Tyranitar or Tapu Bulu, right? Those would be the two plays that make the most sense. What is that Tyranitar? Also, what are these nicknames? <laughs> so, if I Volt Switch out as they go Reuniclus, okay. It's a leftover, it's good to know. Let's get up Stealth Rocks and then taunt it. Yep, this is okay. I do value rocks a lot. I'll get a Rotom this turn. Heatran is way too good in this game. Especially with Toxapex being a little bit weakened right now. I really need to pressure this Tyranitar though. That's why I stayed in turn 1. So they are Mega Rocks on this. Good to know. Not really going to help me out a ton though. Alright, maybe he gets caught off guard. He should scout, but like, even then, Reuniclus is super weak now, right? Yeah, so Reuniclus is dead. That is very helpful, but it wasn't, like, it was a big threat, but it wasn't the thing that was going to, okay, this actually comes back in. If I hit Hydro Pumps against this dude, you're going to lose to my Heatran. What? Okay, Offensive Rotom is a lot less bulky than I thought, but still, that's actually really good for me. Because here what I can do is just get in Tang. I believe my best play is to just go right for the Giga Drain. Like, this is okay. Now that Tyranitar is so weak, I think I just spam Magma Storm to win this game. Now granted, that is a move I have to hit, and I only have 8 of them, so... That's really scary in itself. Because if they get in Landorus on a Magma Storm miss, I could just lose a Pokemon. So we'll see. They get in Tapu Bulu. So what is this, Swords Dance? Giga Drain, Tornadus here, Kyurem. No, Kyurem's actually really good now too. I go Tornadus. That's fine. Let's go for Hurricane for a turn. The other alternative is knock off the helmet so that way my Mawile never has to take any more damage. I like that play a lot. This is actually a perfect bring in for me because I can just throw off Ice Beam right here and pressure this a ton. Come on, Whirlwind in my Kyurem. Sorry, my Heatran. <laughs> Uh, that's taking way too much, dude. So Pex comes in, as it should. They should know what attack I'm about to click, but I'm going to click it anyway. Yeah, like, it's so obvious, but I'm not going to play around with that. Stone Edge here. No, not sacking that. And I think I just win with Kyurem on its own. So Tyranitar comes in here. I don't know what it's clicking, but I don't think it matters what it's clicking at this point. How fast would this be? I need some more damage on this for Kyurem to win this game. I don't know why they pursued, tra tried to pursue there, but Tegroth was my more expendable Pokemon. I think we broke this team. I don't think they can win with this position. Mawal plus Kyurem does way too much work now. Bulu comes in. I just have to make sure it doesn't Swords Dance successively, so I go Hard Tornadus. Yep, and I just click hur hur Hurricane. If I hit the game's over, I of course don't, because, you know, that would be way too easy. I do that, though, and that should just be it, because now Kyurem comes in and just wins. Yeah, like, they have to hope I overpredict, but not doing that. So I think I'm good. I just spam Ice Beam against the Skarm. And then, like, both Heatran and Mawal can beat the Toxapex at this point, so I'll be right back.
All right, I have another game ready here. We have a Tepu Fini, which is probably one of the better defensive responses to Kyurem. This guy actually has a defensive response to like every single Pokemon on my team, so this could be a little bit tough. We do have similar builds, by the way. Tangrowth, Heatran. I guess that's really it, but Steel-type Megas. I don't really know what the lander this would be. Let me go ahead and lead off with Heatran. Although, the Rocker is probably Heatran or Lando, and they might lead off with one of the two. I think I'll lead Kyurem. Yeah, Kyurem is okay right here, because even if they lead off with Scissor, I think they would go for U-Turn. They could BP, I guess, but I think they would go for U-Turn, anticipating Heatran to want to get in Lando. Let's see. They lead Gran, okay. So here's the thing, Kyurem is once again really good in this game, so I'm going to play like, the same play that I did in the first game, and scout for the low kick right away. Or even a lot pummeling, like either one is options. As they do go out into Scissor, a good play. I'm able to get in my Tangrowth though. So free U-turn for them, obviously. I'll just take a bit of Helmet Chip then. I don't really see the point in just giving them free rocks with the heat with the Lando, when I can just get in my... Well, actually, the Lando's probably Scarf on this team. It's probably Rocks Tran, but either way, I don't want that Lando coming in. So I'll just give them the... Um... Dex had superpower. Yeah, that's another reason not to go hard Heatran. So here, what I can do is just go right for Hurricane. As Heatran comes in, I don't get any damage off, which is a bit unfortunate. However, what I can do now is U-turn out. Into who, though? Because, like, I don't know if that's Z or anything. That, that miss really sucks. I wanted information about this. Maybe I should have just U-turned immediately. Alright, I'll U-turn to Rotom. As the rocks do go up. Okay. They do stay in. They go right for Toxic, meaning this probably has Protect on it. Ah, oh, man, that's annoying. Can you stay in for, like, no reason, please? <laughs> please do. Like, that would make me so happy. My Kyurem's gonna have fun if you stay in. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Tapu Fini. I don't know why they decided to do that when they have literally a Tangrowth in the back, but... Okay, Kyurem hasn't won yet. Like, there's still a few things that need to happen right here, particularly... First of all, I don't know why this came in. This is, this is my defog. <laughs> Maybe they have Sleep Powder and their Fizz Def? But I'll go for defog, and what I'll do right here is just go for... I'm gonna go for knockoff. These, like, t the Tornadus isn't that good, and these leftovers are really frustrating me. They go for rocks. I can just defog again as they go for toxic, so I guess this is the point where I do have to get out of here. I'm gonna make the offensive play and go right for Earth Power here. As uh, Scissor Mega comes in, I can just go right for HP Fire after, be able to knock that out. I don't think the crit mattered. I'm pretty sure Earth Power plus HP Fire blows that away. So Greninja probably comes in here, Landorus comes in. Uh, once again, no reason to risk anything here besides, like, I just go Tangrowth. As they go for U-turn, yeah, like, why would I risk damage on Kyurem when it kills everything? Hmm. Why? That's why, but, like, I was still willing to sack this, but now that I know that that's happening, I think I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello, I'm gonna get these rocks up now. Those rocks are not going up. Forget everything I've said about rocks. However, what I can do is get this in. Go right for play rough. As Landorus T comes in, nice Tando L. What I can do is get in Rotom here. I'm just trying to keep Kyurem. I think that's what's going to win. Okay, that's actually fine. They probably killed me, but like, still, it's okay. Yeah, that's gonna kill, obviously. But like, once again... Okay, they're gonna withdraw to the, the Heatran this time, so we'll go for T-Punch. They go for Raw Dig, which I can live. I think I will just live it and go for Player Off. Yeah, because I still come in one more time, and I think that's the vile part, because... Correct me if I'm wrong, they just lost to my Kyurem by doing that. Is there an attack that Landorus could potentially lock itself into late game? Maybe Stone Edge. I think I've overlooked Stone Edge a bit here. Tangrowth is a little bit healthy, though. Maybe it can take that on. Also, Kyurem naturally takes a Stone Edge, I think. I do have Sucker Punch, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, now I just click Ice Beam, like it's over, but... That endgame was a little bit sketchy. I don't know if I played it optimally, but it did work out for us, so... I will take that, I guess. Let's see. I don't know if they're confused about Sucker Punch or what the deal is, but this is over. Like, unless AV Tang puts me in range of Stone Edge, but even then... 
I'm pretty sure I could just use Matt Tangrowth to take on the Lando. I'll be right back. All right, I have another game right here. We have a really, really bulky, annoying build. I think that Mawal and Heatran are going to have to put in a lot of work right now. Hiram can help out if they leave it in, like, if they leave in Ferrothorn and HP Fire, because Ice Beam plus Earth Power actually does well against everything else. What I want to do is lead off with Heatran and go for Hazards early. I'm gonna go for the kill first here. Because if they just give me Tox Specs, I'll take it, dude. I'm not trying to play around with this Pokemon all game. So they make their best pivot, they do go Gliscor. Roost is 100% coming out. They could go for Toxic, but I'll go to Kyurem. They just look Earthquake immediately, okay. Well, what I want to do right now is just go for HP Fire. It still catches Solasteel, I would have preferred Ice Beam, obviously. But the crit makes up for that, I guess. Not really. I'll get this in and go for Rocks here. As Pex comes in... So, as much as I want to stay in, I gotta go to Rotom. As that actually works out for me beautifully, because what I can do here is just go right for Hydro Pump and knock out Gliscor, not trying to predict around this guy. Ferrothorn does come in here. I can just simply Volt Switch out. As I've mentioned already, I could, don't really need my Tangrowth in this game. I don't see the point in having Heatran take any damage when I can literally just bring this in and go for a knockoff. I'm literally keeping Mawal at full health for Lottie, by the way. So here I'll go Mawal on the Roost, and yeah, this is a great position. This is great positioning right now. I think what I want to do is go right for Fire Fang. Going to continue to put on the pressure right now. I don't think they're going to risk their Latias. Yep, I'm able to catch the Ferrothorn with the Fire Fang. Ditto comes in. I literally just keep my Mawal and go Tangrowth again. Tangrowth is useless, as I've mentioned over and over again. So here I can just throw off a knockoff. How does that work out for somebody? <laughs> yeah, watch this. Got him. Okay, let's go for Plaref. Hello, Toxapex. Do you want a Thunder Punch? I don't think you do. I highly doubt this Toxapex wants this. They've already seen my set, too. They should know it's coming, but I'm not over-predicting against this guy. Yeah, and they run. I'll be right back. All right, I have another game right here. This guy is actually really weak to my Rotom Wash. I'll lead off with that as they lead off with the Atarianatar. I can just Hydro Pump. That last game, by the way, is like a prime example of why I don't use Swords Dance Mega Mawal. If I didn't have Fire Fang, then that Ferrothorn would be able to come in, get Iron Barb's Chip, get Leech Siege, Residual Damage. That's why I think it's already so strong, right? Why do you need Swords Dance? Here, if I get if I get rid of this, that means my Heatran has fun, so I do enjoy that. We'll see if they give it to me, though. They do hard with the draw from one Water Week to the other, and of course it doesn't work out for me. How does that work out? What? That's crazy. Then they go hard Toxapex. I'm very confused. Let's just put it like that. I'm thoroughly confused. Heatran comes in. I got a Para. So I guess I'll take that. I don't know. That's definitely an offensive Heatran based off 53%. I don't know if they're going to sack it off here or get in Lander's T. I don't think I need to play off. Yeah, Thunder Punch is always the play. As Lander's is going to come in now. I can choose to go Rotom, or I can also choose to go Tornadus. Tornadus is definitely the more expendable Pokemon. As they go for U-turn, so I get some residual on this. This guy's playing this very interestingly. He's playing very passively early game, but... I still need to make sure I have the tools to win around. So Tyranitar comes in here. On the turn, Sand goes down. But it's about to go back up, of course. I'll get in my Rotom. Whoa, okay. It's not that serious, dude. Maybe I should paint a it. I'll paint split. Because it's guaranteed damage, whereas Hydro Pump isn't really guaranteed. And if they switch out, I'm getting a ton of recovery off something, so that's kind of cool. I have a feeling they might go Bulu here, so like, that would be amazing if they did. Or Pex. Pex works too. How much did Volt Switch do earlier? 46? They're at 46. I'm just gonna take the kill. Yeah, I'm not playing around with the rolls. <laughs> Miss me with that. So now Reuniclus can come in. I think if I want to beat Reuniclus, I have to use Heatran. Although if it's Calm Mind, Phytanium Z, it's a bad time. Do I go Mawal? Yeah. Because at least this way what I can do is... I think I don't think they beat me yet. They have to switch out. Because if I play off and then play off again, they, they lose. That took a lot. I do have Sucker Punch too, so I'll go for that here. Good scout. Get to keep your sack. Had I played off again, that would have been, like, so good. But it's okay. I can just sack off Rotom now. Rotom's bad. As they get this in. 
Why, why can I paint split again? No, I should just hydro pump. Why, Rotom? That's two. It's actually dumb. Like, why, why does it? Why does that happen every time? Uh, who do I go to? I actually have to go to you. Like, I don't see another play. I will live that, but don't miss or don't burn or any of that. I've already missed against the thing. Thank you. So Tapa Bulu comes in, I guess. At this point, they're very weak to... I think I'm getting baited here. They're trying to set up with the rear necklace in front of this. I'm gonna get baited. Go for Sucker Punch, and then I'm going to use my Heatran to beat the rear necklace. Yep, taunted right here. Prevented from setting up as a whole, and then I should be fine. Here is an interesting scenario, where I think I switch out into Kyurem. It doesn't matter, like... I get in Mawal this time, as they go for Kalamine, and now I can play her off. Yeah, I'm getting- I just gotta get these calls right against Rune Nicholas, and then I should win. Yeah, cause look at how much damage that did. Okay, but it's Kalamine Acid Armor, meaning I have to taunt it here. Really? Immediate drop? Okay, but I do hit. I think that should just be game. The missing is really annoying. Am I really about to lose to this? No. No way. Taunt is still active. I can go to Mawal here, weaken it even more with player off. And then I think I should be good anyway with... How do I revenge it after? I need to crit, I think. Yeah, because that didn't do enough. Do I have a Pokemon that can kill it from this percentage? No, I don't. So who's my best bet? Ice Beam? I can just spam Ice Beam and hope I freeze. I eventually will. But that's actually, like, the fact that Taunt Heatran cannot beat this because of Magma Storm misses... Freeze, no. Okay, confuse. Ah, oh, man, losing to this is actually really annoying. Like, I outplayed this guy the entire game. I also missed a few attacks, which is a little bit annoying, too. Alright, because we're in this scenario, I think it's actually in my best interest to defog to make sure I'm never missing. Or at least not missing as often. Man, I really lost to that. Man, that's actually really frustrating. The, because they got the spit-off drop immediately, which just meant all their psychics did so much damage. I mean, hey, I guess it is a win con, but... I mean, the thing that annoys me is when you use bulky set of Pokemon like this, I always get hacked when I try it, but when other people don't, I don't know. I'll be right back. Oh, Lord, I have another game right here. This guy has some birds. All of these things are just flapping. What I can do is lead off with my Tornadus, I want to say. Against Mew, this is actually great, because I can just throw off knockoff. Do I scout for Thunder Wave on this? No, I'm going to knock it off. Okay, so it happens right away. We are already getting started with this. Kyurem, do you want to get Discharge Paralyzed? They have T-Bolt, okay. I'll double to Rotom here on the Feeny. It's like so obvious. Although they could have momentum move, so I'll go for Ice Beam. As they actually go hard Lele, which doesn't even kill me with anything, so. And I have speed tie chance, so like I don't know why this was the play. Over like Feeny. Feeny was definitely the play there. So they did win the tie. Like obviously had they not been frozen, I wouldn't have risked the tie, but that was a bit lucky. Mew comes in. I think this time what I can do is just go back to Tornado since it's pretty useless at this point. Psychic Turin Psychic is actually really strong. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that Pokemon, get this in. Do you have Earth Power? Or Earthquake? What do you have? They probably don't. They're probably will o Roost. Okay, they have Earthquake. I think the last two moves are will o Roost. Or Defog. Thank you for ever predicting, I appreciate it. Okay, that's fine. I think what I have to do right here is get this in. The Z Thunder should be able to pick this off, I would guess. This thing's pretty strong with the, the Z move. Yeah, I get rid of Mew. Okay, that's actually so good. Mew, having Mew out of the way is actually really nice. How do I beat Zardex? If that is what the set is. Which, I, I have doubts that it is that, but we'll see. So here I have some decisions. I could just go for odds and click Thunder. Hey, you know what? I'm doing that. Same power on these. Go for Volt Switch here. I'm pretty sure... Well, this is a revealed Z move I was about to cancel. No. That's actually annoying. Uh, here I have to go for Ice Beam. And I was literally about to click Cancel on that, but... That might cost me. They do miss a Heat Wave, so they were max speed on their offensive Zapdos. Unsurprisingly, to be honest. How do I beat Zardex? And do I just not beat it? Is that the thing? 
Okay, they go Zard. Please just be Zard Y for like no reason. No, it's Zard X. I'm faster than it. That did a lot. I already see how I beat it. I go to this and click Earthquake and force them to take Recoil. That's fine. Now here's what the thing is. I just can't- I can't let them roost. Do I think they have roost on Dragon Rush Flare Lips? Also, are we gonna talk about them connecting Dragon Rush? Okay, they withdraw. I don't think that's gonna help them at all. Because I can click Play Rough here. Yeah, that does nothing. Yeah, they actually clicked Roost. It doesn't matter though, I can just play Rough again. Yeah, I'll be able to kill that. Now Finny comes in, I guess. I guess what I have to do is switch out. Ah, that does 2 it KO. Mm. Okay, well, Dragon Rush, huh? I mean, I lost, right? Unless this is, this is a roll for no reason. So that's going to be the game, unfortunately. I'm going to lose to the Dragon Rush Zardex team. I don't know what I could have done against Zardex because my Rotom Walsh was offensive. I definitely think that had I been able to keep my Rotom, I would have been fine. But unfortunately, what starts off as a 5 and one session ends up being 5-3. and three. I was a bit on tilt on the last game, I must admit, from that Runiclus loss. But I think that is a good point to end things off. I did hope you all enjoyed. Kiram did do a lot of work. Unfortunately, we did not get to see it take on a Volcarona. I don't think we did, at least. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.